Good morning, BHS, and welcome to the Paul Print Newscast. The last day to buy yearbooks at the low price of $55 is January 30th. After that, they will be $65. Are you interested in being a lifeguard this summer at the Johnny Appleseed Park? They are accepting applications this summer, so make sure you grab one of those if you would like to be a lifeguard. And on Sunday, April 23rd, Defiance College is hosting a spring three-on-three -three soccer tournament and drive. The cost is $40 per team, and each participant is asked to bring one pair of new or lightly used socks or soccer shoes to benefit the Defiance Goodwill. At the game last Friday, Interact held a dodgeball game. Let's take a look at that. On Friday the 20th, at the boys' basketball game against Wapak, Interact held two dodgeball games one at halftime and one after the game. The one at halftime was held between Interact members and eight staff members. After the game, Bath students played Wapak students. The reason for hosting the dodgeball game was to dodge out the drugs. Thanks for everyone that participated. Isn't that just such a beautiful sighting to see all those kids playing a big old quick round of dodgeball together? That is such the fiasco. Now, let's go out to Drew with our student of the week. Fa 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 the feet the feet foo fa 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 wow fa the fa the feet foo foo the foo the feet fa. It's close. It's close. Yeah. Tired of living day to day like everything's alright. Just waiting on that moment. Waiting on my moment. Yeah. Waiting on my moment. Oh, dude, man. Thanks, Bobby. I'm here with Student of the Week, freshman Mallory Clark. Mallory, I have a few questions to ask so we can get this kid over with. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. All right. What sports do you play? Uh, I play volleyball and I swim. Okay. And you don't go. You didn't go with the white hair this swim season. Why not? Because I thought it looked a little dumb. I think it looks really cool, honestly. I love it. Um, next question. Um, what do you guys like to do in your free time with all your friends? Play What Are the Odds and do some dumb things. All right, make sure there's safe dumb things, though. Mm -hmm. And then now time for the weird questions. If you were on an island with three other people, only three, who would you take and why? Probably Ainsley, because she can be smart sometimes. And Alex, because she'd probably entertain us. <laughs> and... Um, We need an answer. We're running out of no. time. <laughs> someone to build fires, someone that could send like an SOS, someone who would just be fun to be with. <laughs> Alright, moving on. We're going with me. <laughs> and finally, tell me a sentence, where'd these go, that these three emojis mean. A kid owns a dog and it barked and it scared the monkey. Fair enough. All right, if you see Mallory Clark in the hallways, make sure to stop by and say hi, because she is the student of the week. Back to you. Chill. Oh. Tired of living day to day like everything's all right. Every night, just one thing on my mind. I'm just waiting on that moment. Are you guys going to the game tonight? Yeah, we could go support Big Willie and then hang out afterwards. Yeah, sounds like fun. What do you guys want to do after? Go get pizza at Dude, let's go. I'm starving and have eaten all day long. I love their pizza. And they have amazing wings. Which one do you guys want to go to? Um, we could go to the one on Spencerville Road or Northwest Street, and we could go inside and eat. And hey, make sure you guys bring your quarters though, so we can play that sweet claw machine. Claw machine, I love it. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, let's do that. Let's Sounds go. great. See you there. Yeah. Tired of living day to day like everything is alright. Waiting on that moment. They know it's a look short of trap, but no, so just give me one. Give me one, give me one, one reason, baby. I flex on you. Give me one, give me one. 
board is where Got Leo. Oh, the Alright, the basketball team lost to Walpock 57 to 39. It was a tough loss. They also lost to Finley 62 to 39. Mm -hmm. They have a game tonight. They're going to bounce back against St. Mary's. Come out and support if you can. They also have a game Tuesday at LCC. So go out and support. The girls basketball team defeated Walpock 46 to 27. Congrats, ladies. Good job. They also have a game Thursday versus Van Wert, and it's a home game. All right, wrestling on January 23rd, they happen to take a loss versus the Lida, 56-19. But on Saturday, February 4th, they're at the WBL Championships at Shawnee High School. All right, now on to swimming. On Saturday, January 28th, they have the WBL Championships at Defiance YMCA. All right, let's little slide down the lanes over at the bowling alley. Monday versus Van Wert home at 20th Century Lanes. Jump on over there and watch some bowling. Now, let's go ahead and announce our all-sports court winners. Starting with freshmen, Morgan Mosley and Gage Imes. Sophomores, Riley Imes and Ethan Daniels. Juniors, Karis Barnes, Caden Schmidt. And for our seniors, starting at guard, Abby Cozart. Over to small forward, Bailey Dakin. And at center, Kennedy Metcalf. And on the opposing side of the gender scale for the males, we have Bobby Gross. Caden Sullivan. And Trey Terry. And now, let's go on out to Jared with some Super Bowl predictions. So, Mrs. Coles, earlier this year you picked the Raiders and the Cowboys to be in the Super Bowl. What happened? Well, the Cowboys were that close. They just got beat by a field goal and just didn't finish. And the Raiders lost their quarterback to a major ankle injury, so that's what happened to them. Yeah, that hurt them a lot. Yeah. So, now we have the Patriots and the Falcons. Falcons. <laughs> Who do you think is going to win? Well, I hate to say it, but I think the – Patriots are going to win, but I'd like to see the Falcons win. But I think the Falcons have a great offense, but the Patriots have a good defense, and I think that's good. It's going to make the difference. Yeah. Well, any comments on Tom Brady? Oh, he's going to have a good game or no? I don't like him. You don't like him? No. Why not? Because he's from U of M. But he's good. Okay. <laughs> All right. There you have it. Now. Out to Ashlyn and Haley with the weather. Hey Ash. Hi Haley. How are you? Good, how are you? Just great. What'd you think of the warm weather? Oh, that was amazing. Wasn't it? I loved it. Yep, well, not Delver. this week. <laughs> yep, because Friday it's going to be a high of 32 and cloudy. Saturday, high of 31 and cloudy. And Sunday, it's going to be a high of 30 and partly cloudy. Haley, what's on Sunday? Sunday is my birthday. Oh, happy early birthday. How old are you going to be? I'm going to be 18. Ah, the big 1-8. I know. All right. It's exciting. That is exciting. All right. Now to the halls with the bowls. There's a habit. So Quinlan, tell me, if you could only choose one thing, would you rather only be able to shout or whisper? Um, whisper. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> so Mr. Seaman, you tell me, if you could do one thing, would you rather be only be able to whisper or shout? Whisper. Whisper. Good choice. Cody. What? Love, power, or wealth? What? Choose one. Wealth. Interesting choice. Thank you. Heidi, tell me. If you choose one, love, power, or wealth? Love. Good choice. Thanks. Love, power, or wealth? Which one? Pa love. <laughs> Good. So tell me, who's going to win the Super Bowl? You know, it's probably going to be the Patriots because they always win every single time. That they do. Choose one. Love, power, or wealth? Power. Ooh. Good one. Choose one. Love, power, or wealth? 
Dude, I want money. Wealth. Doesn't surprise me, man. Just kidding. I don't know what I want. <laughs> I want good grades. That's <laughs> why so I need some knowledge. You heard it. How long here with Annabelle? Annabelle, would you rather live in New York or Boston? Boston. <laughs> One more time. Boston. All right, third time's a charm. Boston. <laughs> would you rather have unlimited money or unlimited happiness? Unlimited happiness. Respectable. Hello, I'm here with BNC. BC, would you rather live in Boston or New York? Probably New York. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Um, the Big Bean. Uh, unlimited money or unlimited happiness? Probably unlimited happiness. Dream car? Taurus. And what do you look for in a girl? Toes. Big toes. Heard it here first. Hello, I'm here with Abby Myot. Abby, uh, some questions. What's your favorite clothing brand? Pink. If you were to go to the mall, where would you go first? Pink. <laughs> favorite food? Pizza. Second favorite? Uh, ribs. Favorite drink? Uh, Mountain Dew. Favorite school course? Math. All right, here we go, Layton. Favorite food? Pizza. Second favorite? Pizza. Favorite drink? Pop. Favorite course in school? Science. Favorite athlete? Bo. Favorite color? Purple. Hmm. Unlimited money or unlimited happiness? Happiness. Would you rather have to whisper or scream for the rest of your life? Probably scream. If you could be one person, who would you be? Mr. C. If you could live anywhere, where would you live? Montana. What's your dream car? Porsche 911. Would you rather have like beautiful teeth or like beautiful eyes? Teeth. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm here with Ben Evans. Ben, can you give me a Super Bowl prediction and a score? Um, I think the Falcons are going to win it 21 7. Ben Evans. With Ian Yunt. Ian, give me a Super Bowl prediction and a score, please. I'm going to go the Falcons 28 21. Super Bowl prediction and score. Falcons in 28 17. Go Falcons. With Devin, Kenyon, Devin. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl? I believe the Falcons will win. Do you like track or cross country better? Uh, track. Nice. Josh, what's your favorite sport? Um, track. Nice. What's your favorite band? Uh, probably Panic the Disco. All right, have a great day. I'm here with Hunter. What's your favorite NBA team? Oh, of course the Lakers. All right, I like that. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? The Browns. All right, let's hope. I'm here with Mr. McKinney. Uh, Mr. McKinney, what's your favorite color? Blue. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, what's your favorite band? The 21 Pilots. All right, have a great day. Abby, who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Uh, the Patriots, duh. All right. Kaylee, what's your favorite thing to eat at Bob Evans? Uh, the hot chocolate cake. Oh, nice. <laughs> this dude right here has so much swag. Yep. Too much. So bad, go to walking down the street. Yeah. Oh yeah, me and Shawty got to meet. She's so bad, she ain't even got the speech, but she got it from her head to her feet. Baby, got both feet, her hair both feet. He just dropped. He's into it. Hair both feet, yeah. Shawty on feet. Shawty on feet. Hamburger pickle on top makes your heart go flippity flop. Have you had your QP today? Your pain, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Main, let's lock and load. Yeah. Just play. Yeah. No, I'll turn me up. Yeah, yeah. Me, I think we got one. Yeah. Here we go. Tell me what do you see? See when you're looking at. Thank you for watching this edition of the Paul Brent Newscast. St. Rita's is accepting applications for students 14 to 18 years of age who would like to volunteer this summer. Applications are available online at www.strenas.org and will be accepted until 4 p.m. on March 10, 2017. Application packets are also available in the guidance office. The 2017 Summer Academic Enrichment Programs at Wright State University are now available for students in grades 6 through 12. Call 937 Seven seven five three one three five, or visit www.wright.edu/precollege if you're interested. 
Don't forget, if you have a random clip that you want shown on the newscast, please send it in to Mr. Gomez. Yes, please do. Also, don't forget to buy your copy of the superhero edition of the Paw Print for one quarter. Five nickels. Twenty-five pennies. Thank you for watching. Can still hear it. Are you stupid? You can still hear it. it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna talk into it because that's a blooper. So. <laughs> nope. I'm putting that in. There. <laughs> I know you would. Sorry. Hey, are you guys going to the game tonight? Yeah, we can go hang out and then hang out after. Yeah, that sounds. <laughs> 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 we can go hang out first. We can go hang out and then hang out after. Hey, are you guys going to the game tonight? That wasn't loud. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I just felt awkward. I was like, yeah, we got all those exes. Yeah. Don't come. <laughs> What's the skit over here? Pizza. Bad Jack's. Bad Jack's pizza is really freaking good. Like, dude, you can get a sheet pizza, 14 inch pizza, 12 inch, <laughs> maybe 10. It's really good. Here you guys go. You go there and then this is the skit now. <laughs> obviously, it is really bad. You don't have any good taste in pizza. Competition. There is no competition. Fat Jack's Pizza is where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Lexi Foley. Lexi, who do you think will win the Super Bowl? Who's in this? Oh wait, no, the Super Bowl hasn't even happened. Wait, has it? <laughs> I like feel like. Oh, ready? I like them. Oh crap! Look at my applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> Will you grab me something? Grab me something. I, I really need something to wipe this off. <laughs>